So, Governor, you have a great ambassador for this county, Davie County, and the state of North Carolina. He's absolutely worked diligently on this project. He never allowed an obstacle to get in the way, and he took on every single challenge that came his way and took it on with a big smile on his face and said, we can do it. So I'd next like to introduce a gentleman who really, really was passionate about this project. He's been working on it for how long, Terry? For two years. He's been working on this project, and I'll tell you what, you'll never find a more diligent man and a true patriot for the state of North Carolina. Please welcome Terry Burley. Either. Oh, so I'm not going to get a chance to speak in front of you. But wow, what a great day uh, for all of us here in Davie County, this region. Uh, I, Representative Howard and Senator Rock both send their regrets. I want to send that out first to both in session. And they're warriors for Davie County, I promise you. They're down there doing our business every day, trying to eliminate costs, eliminate regulations, and help us grow com companies here. Governor, I'd love to, to welcome you to Davie County once in a month. We could set that up. And just line these announcements. Because I can tell you, I was a witness in those meetings. And John, I can tell you this. In regards of a new refreshed attitude, in regards of how about the government treating business like a customer. Wow. What a refreshing change. tell you, what we should be doing is helping companies through a system. Through a system that sometimes, as Ron and Todd found out here, the law changed in March and then again in June, did it with energy codes. And I'll tell you what, we really had a long conversation. Ron still, he's, he still says I'm giving the Yankee trip. Uh, but I promise you, we're not. We are trying to work through those regulations. And, but what a refreshing change with John and his staff. I witnessed that meeting. And you know, we as government and elected officials, I've learned so much from Ashley in terms of what it takes to compete in the world today. And that is removing barriers, removing costs. We lost 24% of our projects last year in South Carolina. You want to know what their corporate income tax is? Well, in North Carolina today, because of, uh, I don't mean to get on a certain box, but I'm trying to help you here. But to build an industrial building today, because of the New York factory codes, it costs 20% more in North Carolina than it does in any surrounding state. We need to look at that. So we need to be mindful, of, and they have really helped us, even down to the local level, in terms of helping remove those barriers, remove costs, bringing jobs back to this country. And that's what they're doing. I want to say, on behalf of a grateful county, region, and state, I want to thank the Wannings and Ashley Furniture for looking at the largest industrial footprint here that we host. As Nito said, this is a regional effort here, but I want you to help me thank this company, their employees, for choosing this location in our state. This area, as Nito mentioned a while ago, the long history of furniture manufacturing in this region, the families, the decades that have dedicated their life to create the skill to manufacture furniture in the world. Who would have thought two years ago that we would be bringing those jobs back to this country, in this region, in this county? And I say a hallelujah to all those families that kept the faith that those jobs are coming back in. So thank all of you for that. Thank you, Ryan and Todd, for that. Also, want to point out the, the importance of a public-private partnership here. I can tell you that for a long time, R.J. Brown was on a piece of property here, and I constantly would knock on the door and say, "I have a 501c3. Can I help you make this a 
the SAP set reality. And their conversation was, Gary, bring me an opportunity to create jobs. Wow. Did we get that done? Absolutely. Mark Edwards, thank you for your contribution. And that is perfect. It also took the cooperation of local governments and state governments and federal governments and agencies of those governments working together. This really is a team sport. And I tell you what, uh, we couldn't have been more blessed to have had all that happen in this county. Uh, I want to, again, on behalf of David County, welcome everybody here. Thank these guys and their whole organization. If you haven't met the Ashley group, I can tell you, first thing I witnessed was their entire staff is engaged at the moving calls to give it back to that consumer and to that customer. And, and that's the reason that they're number one in the world. We want to thank them for making this place, we hope to be, even grander and host to that one facility for us for decades to come. Thank you. Well, thank you, Terry. Great job.